Hello again, YouTubers! Welcome back to the Daily Porygonian. Um, we last left off here outside Turfield Stadium, and in this video, we're going to be finishing the second gym battle, um, that with uh, Nessa, the water gym leader. So here we are, Route 5. Um, I'm going to deposit Rookie D so that we don't have to go through this battle with the news reporters. <laughs> so. You're just, we're just gonna be playing alone with um, Italian. We are now at 1 hour 30 minutes, so hopefully we will be able to complete Nessa's challenge by one uh, by two by the two hour mark. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over there. Three heal balls. Um, oh whoa! I almost got into a, <laughs> into a battle there. Um, over here, I think we have something as well. Nope. Am I missing something there? Oh yes, I am. Um, TM31 attract. Okay, so there. Um, and I'm just going to talk with this camper because we want to be able to fly here again in the future. And just avoid that cook going back up. Um, Over here, there are a couple of, uh, there, there is this thing here, Shed Shell, um, and uh, there are two Galarian Farfetch's there, so, yeah. um, I'm gonna talk to here, uh, to this lady here, and she's gonna tell us to, well, I mean, tell us to go inside, inside uh, this Pokemon Nursery, this is Pokemon Nursery, um, wait, I'm gonna save here. You get a free Toxel from this lady. Um, yeah, so Toxel. And that's gonna be added to our Pokedex. Alright, so, and take these two. She's gonna give us uh, five experience candies um, XS. And yeah. Okay, uh, let's take a look at Toxel real quick. Um, it is a female Toxel, and um, depending on the nature, it actually evolves into either the amped form or the low key form. So, um, good to know, I guess. I'm gonna deposit Toxel into a box as well. And, okay, so here is where we get our bike. Um, we're gonna have to battle um, these Team Yell fellas. Yeah, um, on the contrary, we are gonna crush this Team Yell grunt. Unlike what he says. Okay, so he sends out a Zigzagoon. Um, he has two Pokemon, so Zigzagoon is first, and I assume it's gonna be a Nicket or something like that. Next, um... Yeah. I know Pokemon is meant to be centered around battling, but personally, um, the main thing that I really enjoy about Pokemon, Evil, it's gonna be his second Pokemon, but yeah, the main thing that I really enjoy about Pokemon is exploration. So, the battles are occasionally fun and all that but collecting uh, in my opinion my favorite thing to do is collect the pokemon as well as explore the world um in the game um, so yeah comment below well. do you like battling more or do you like all three uh, collecting pokemon battling and exploring so this guy's gonna spin out sableye and um yeah, so great, he only has one Pokemon. That's gonna help speed things up. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, we are gonna get our bike, and um, as we cross this bridge here, uh, we'll be able to find some feathers that allows us to EV train our Pokemon if we need to. So... Yeah, we obtained the Rotom Bike. There is an upgrade for this later that we will be getting on Route 9. 
Um, so press the plus button, and as you can see, there are these uh, hidden items. Swift Feather increases uh, speed based points. Um, let's see what else we can get. So these feathers are mainly obtained on these bridges. Muscle Feather increases attack based points. Um, over here we have a Swift Feather again. Over here we have a Health Feather, so this one increases HP base points. And okay, so that is about it, I think. We have Mr. Hop over here, which we are going to again destroy in a battle. <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's not really fun destroying him in battle, but you know, it's kind of a chore because this is a mandatory battle after all, so we have to battle him. Um, he starts off with Wulu, and obviously, one hit KO everything, and we'll be on our way. So, just wanted to point out that um, in order to use level 100 Pokemon at the start of the game, you need those Pokemon actually need to be native to your game. So you can't transfer or you can't get someone to trade a level 100 Pokemon to you and use that um, because there are level caps. So for, for the Pokemon that uh, for the traded Pokemon that you can use. So until you get you finish the eight gym, you can't use like Pokemon above level 55 that are traded to you. But as long as the Pokemon is native to your game, so it has your OT. Um, and it has that, I, I'm not sure if they still have the secret OT. I think they do, but okay, so basically, if it's native to your game, and you man somehow manage to level it up to level 100, like um, what I did, obviously I transferred it to another game, leveled it up, and then transferred it back, you can still use it um, as per normal in your game. No issues at all. So, yeah, that. in case you guys were wondering, um, this... Inteleon here is the native st starter to this game, and that's how it's working, even though it's level 100. Okay, so let's get on our bike. Oh, there's one more feather here. Um, Genius Feather increases special attack base points. Anything else? Oh, yes, there is one here, I think. Pretty Feather. So this feather is beautiful, it's just a regular, fe regular feather, it has no effect. So those are the most useless ones. Um, there's an Elder, Glo uh, Elder Goss blowing in the wind there. Hell Feather again, and okay, so that is the... I'm gonna see if I can... I'm probably not gonna try it. Gonna skip through this and hit into Halbury. So, um, Halbury's gym is a water type gym, um, and usually water, well, I mean, since we are using water type, it won't have a type advantage, but we're level 100, so <laughs> let's go take down that gym. Um, we encounter um, Chairman Rose's um, assistant or secretary, Oleana, as well as B here. So he's just gonna say some words and we're gonna encounter them. Okay, so uh, let's go get our second gym badge. Um, and then proceed to the seafood restaurant. Okay, so before we get our badge, we have to get Nessa because she's not at the gym. So we have to get her to go to the gym. And um, this pop over here leads up to the train station. So there's a hidden item there. X speed. So that's the train station. And um, personally, I like trains a lot. Um, subway trains to be specific. Okay, um, there are some items here as well. Um, as well as some fishing spots. Now the cool thing in Sword and Shield is I think I think you automatically get a fishing rod. So you don't have to get the fishing rod from anyone. You automatically have it. As far as I, I, I notice, I'm, I'm, I've never actually noticed me having to go to get the fishing rod from someone. So I think that's how it works. It should be automatic. Here is Nessa. 
So she's gonna say, yeah, you're a gym challenger. Okay, blah, blah, blah. She gives us our uh, her lead card and then um, proceeds to the stadium. So let's begin our second gym mission and battle. If you haven't watched part um, four in the last video, we finished the first gym battle, of course, at Turfield. So let's talk to the ball guy here in Hallbury Stadium. He's gonna give us, uh, yeah, he says you have a fishing rod, so I think that is automatic. Um, you obtain a lure ball. Okay, so this is number two of the Abercorn balls. Just look at the ball guy there. He's really happy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go over here, save our game. We are at one hour 40 minutes, so let's try to finish this gym mission in the next 10 minutes. Um, and of course, we can end up the video there. Um, in part number six, I will be proceeding through gallery mine number two, and then um, doing the gym challenge in Moto Stoke Stadium. So that's a fire gym challenge. So within the first six parts, we would have completed the first main circuit of gym challenges, and then we can proceed on to the upper wild area and Hammerlock. I mean, that is after all the purpose of us having a level 100 Pokemon to finish up the game as fast as possible in preparation for the DLC. Okay, so we have a maze here. Um, basically, we have to press those switches and stuff like that, you know. Um, we had to battle this um, Dream Trainer. Dream Trainer Julian. He's gonna send up a Timpole. And she has okay. She just has one Pokemon, so that's easy. Um, that's done right there. Um, and yeah, so basically this maze just requires us to clear a path to the exit. I love this theme. <laughs> this um, really upbeat victory theme. So then we have to press this yellow button. Okay, and then press the red button again, and then and go. Um, okay, so we have to go over here. Yep, no avoiding that trainer. Gym trainer Heather. He's sending out Krabby. Um, she has two Pokemon, so it's gonna take a little bit longer. Okay, and she's gonna send out Corfish. Snipe shot, and we're all good. Okay. So that is the second trainer, and then we have to go over here, press the yellow button, and then press the red button. So going up over here, we have our final part of the maze, we have to clear the path to the exit, so that requires us to go over here. I can't remember the order for this. I think it was the red button first. Then I think it was yellow. So we're gonna go down. Oh no, so it was it was yellow first, followed by red. So we're gonna switch that one back on. And then go down to the yellow button. Okay. And then we're gonna go and get to press the red button. And then finally the one the last one will be the blue button.
Yeah, and so that is our clear path to the exit. And of course, the main gym battle. Yep, there we go. Okay, so um, I'm gonna say we're gonna finish this gym battle in four minutes, which makes which puts us nicely at about 20 minutes to end up the video. So let's go and get our second gym badge. So we're just gonna have that. He's gonna watch us walking in, and then slowly, camera's gonna pan over, and then Ness is gonna say some words, and then come on, let's start the battle. Come on. So yeah, okay. Now we're gonna start our battle. Gym leader Nessa sending out Goldie. She has three Pokemon. Um, so I think we're all good snipe shot. <laughs> so let's just do right. Do that. We don't need to Dynamax. Goldie is down. So that's one out of the three. Next up, we have um, Aracuda. So this is one of the really weird ones. It has that um, bad guy mustache, uh, mustache and uh, looks pretty hilarious. Um, his evolution, Barascuda, is one of those like it has a propeller for his tail. So that, that, I thought that concept was pretty good, but overall, not a very useful Pokemon. Okay, and she's sending out her Dreadnought, which she is going to Dynamax, not Giganamax. Uh, she'll be doing that in the championships, but for now, just gonna be Dynamax. So, I think we actually can finish this gym battle before going to the 4 minute mark. I think it's gonna be like 3 minutes. We're halfway through our gym battle timing, I think. Here we go! One hit KO! Exactly what I expected. So, uh, and yes, so that is our second gym battle uh, right there. Um, and our second badge! Yay! How can this be? <laughs> yeah, so... She's gonna give us our second gym match um, to add to the medallion. And we can catch Pokemon up to uh, off level up to level 30. So that is the second gym challenge. Um, and we're gonna get a TM, TM36 Whirlpool, as well as um, water uniform. Okay, so that is the gym battle, uh, the gym, the second gym, and now we have to go over to the seafood restaurant to meet Chairman Rose. Um, I think I'm going to keep that for the next video. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that for the next video because it's gonna take a while. Um, overall, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a magnet over here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep right here on the Daily Porygonian. Um, I think there's one more item further up here. Yeah, Shell Bell. Okay, and um, yeah, make sure to subscribe, like, favorite, comment, etc. Keep right here on um, the Daily Porygonian. And stay tuned for part number six, where we will meet Chairman Rose, proceed to Galar Mine number two, and then um, challenge the fire gym. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next video. Bye!